don't make this one twin flame mistake. Hi, I'm Lisi. I'm a master certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe, and you can find me at twinflamesheartsdesire.com. So what is this one mistake that I'm saying, don't make this mistake? Um, it has to do with identifying your twin flame versus a false twin flame, but there's a huge mistake I see a lot of you making, don't do it anymore, and here's what it is. So the person that you believe is your twin flame does something or doesn't do something and it upsets you. It makes you feel bad, it makes you feel like um, you're, you're not worthy or not lovable and this person doing something or not doing something, like not calling you or not talking to you, is making you feel bad. And so this is the mistake that some of you are doing. You are saying, oh, they're not my twin flame. Or you're saying, I don't know if they're my twin flame or not. And you get stuck there in this deliberation limbo. Are they my twin flame? They're my twin flame? Maybe, I don't know. I need to know whether or not they're my twin flame in order to love myself here and continue healing. And that's what you tell yourself. I need to figure out if they're my twin flame or not so that uh, then I'll know whether I'm going to heal what they're showing me. And you're getting stuck there. Why? Because whether this person is or isn't your twin flame, you're going to have to move through what they're showing you and do the inner work and love yourself where they're showing you you need love. So because you're trying to figure out whether or not they're your twin flame through maybe... As someone who's watching this will probably smile. Maybe you're trying to ask God for signs. Is this person my twin flame or not? And you're getting nothing. That doesn't mean they're not your twin flame. If this person is showing you something, if they're mirroring something to you that's painful, let's say they're ignoring you and um, you're upset about it and it feels bad. You need to do the mirror exercise and practice the inner work and watch Twin Flame Ascension School until you feel better. Finding out whether or not they are your true Twin Flame will not make you feel better. And you might argue with me and say, yes it will, that would make me feel so much better. I assure you it won't because the block will still be there. So if this person is ignoring you and you're not doing the mirror exercise and realizing that they're reflecting back a place within you that is ignoring yourself and then bringing love there with that's that's basically you know all four steps will will get that and I have a video on the mirror exercise you can learn it best in the book twin flames finding your ultimate lover but if you are not mirror exercising or doing the inner work on what this person is showing you you're missing the whole point and if this is a true twin flame or a false twin flame they can also mirror you just the same thing. Your friends and family and co-workers can mirror things for you to heal. And trying to figure out, you know, is this a true twin or false twin before you do the healing, that's not going to work. Well, guess what is going to work? You reveal your true twin flame by doing the inner work. It is a revealing process. And a lot of you are saying like, well, I'm not going to invest my time and energy into doing the inner work if, if they're not my twin flame. Well, then you are missing the point because the inner work isn't because someone is or isn't your twin flame. It's, it's for you. It's so that you feel better about your life so that you can realize that you create your own reality. And these situations that are happening on the outside are a direct result of what you are choosing on the inside. Point final. End of story. So what do you do? If you're in a situation where you're like, I don't know if this person is my twin flame, they're treating me really badly. I'm not saying be in a, a relationship where you're being treated badly. What I'm saying is use the mirror exercise to heal that vibration, that matching vibration that is within you, that is attracting that experience, no matter who this person is. And as you restore your consciousness to love, focusing on you in love, your true twin flame will be revealed. And some of you are uh, kind of prematurely thinking that you've resolved all these blocks. 
and it is premature and then you're like well they're not my twin flame well take less uh put less emphasis on whether or not this person is or isn't your twin flame and more emphasis on you loving yourself where you need love that's the solution and you will identify and reveal your true twin flame in the process uh, when you learn how to let go of attachment to getting this answer so a lot of times we we want to ask for signs from god and this is good this is a good thing right there's a uh a e-course called twin flames dreams coming true you can get that at twinflamesuniverse.com and it teaches you how to live your life in a vibration of harmonious twin flame union and you can bring yourself into that state and really lay some groundwork in your own consciousness so that you can live with your twin flame without feeling like you have to run away from each other all the time. Um, that's not fun. And I highly recommend learning, doing this work, committing to this inner work before you try to, um, you know, bring your twin flame in. Cause it's pretty easy to call your twin flame in. It's harder to stay there. And so I, I really want to encourage you to do this work, but Anyway, in that course, there is a lesson on twin flame signs, like calling in signs from the universe about your twin flame, like asking the universe or God for three signs in 24 hours from your twin flame. Um, this in the course, Jeff and Shalia don't say, I need three signs to confirm they're my twin flame. They say three twin flame signs. Did you hear the difference there? You have a twin flame. Your twin flame is a person. And these signs are from your twin flame. But it's when we start demanding things from God, like, God, gimme, gimme, gimme. I, I want you to confirm it now. I want you to turn into a magic eight ball and, and confirm it. Yes, no, maybe, right? Like, it, it's missing the point of this relationship. You're having a relationship with the divine for its own sake and for your sake not to try to get stuff from God so sometimes God will send you twin flame signs you can call those in but if you're calling it in from a place of lack if you're calling them in from a place of I want gimme gimme you might not get an answer and that doesn't mean that they're not your twin flame I have a special deal for you so we're having a signs and synchronicities workshop on November 11th 1111 going to be at 11 11 a.m eastern time and i'm hosting it together with four other twin flames universe coaches so it's very powerful and if you want to learn how do you how do you call in these twin flame signs how do you navigate them how do you talk with spirit come to our workshop it's on my website twinflamesheartsdesire.com uh, go to the shop and you can find it there but i really want to just communicate home to this in this email that you you don't need to worry about um, this person who's your twin flame. Got to stand up because of the sun. There we go. This person who is your twin flame or not, as much as you start to focus on you and give yourself all the love that you need when you're upset or hurt by what they're doing. And I promise you, it will reveal. They will reveal. Get clear on your values, on your love list. Start to purify your own consciousness. You may or may not know that like, while it seems like they're the big scary monster, you got some patterns too. And some of you feel afraid to look because you're afraid to see what's in there, right? Um, so I'm here to help you. I'm a master certified coach as I shared. That means I have thousands of hours of experience supporting twin flames and healing separation from their one true love. I'm here to help you change and shift your consciousness into something different and that's what God wants for you spirit divine whatever you want to call source um, to not stay the same right so don't be dismayed if you've asked God to show you signs and they're not coming it it simply means that there's something else to look at because the revealing process is not about oh I got these signs and they're definitely my twin flame because you can get signs from a false twin flame too the signs are there as a conversation from God and they're there to show you what your next step is in here, right? Like they're there to tell you that you're not alone and your twin flame is sending those signs, but you know, your twin flame person, it doesn't confirm this or that person. The, these are signs from your twin flame, right? Jeff and Julia called in signs from their third twin flame. 
they hadn't met Grace yet, right? They knew she existed, but they, they hadn't like met the physical body, you know, the, the baby yet when they called these in in their e-course, right? So be very open and really let go of the external focus on you and do your inner work. And that's what I'm here to help you with. So if you want to try coaching, if you're having, you're really stuck um, and you want some more support, you can book an introductory session with me or join one of my groups right away. Um, and I would love to help you get started on this inner work. It really does work. I confirmed my true twin flame through this process. It works all the time. I'm still practicing the mirror exercise. I have to practice it in order to maintain my union. Love you very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.